Alrighty, folks, welcome on back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus with the Heretic DLC, which we haven't got to yet. It hasn't actually opened yet. I think that's this guy way down here. Could be wrong, though. Or maybe it's this guy. I don't remember some of these guys. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go on the mission for Scavola to give ourselves the extra damage and the CP max gauge size increase. Uh, the only problem is going to be here is the destroyers, which is fine. Flayed ones are the melee guys and then regular Necron warriors. So, let's let's get going. Let's bring everybody. Uh, I am going to bring the Cant of the Light. However, I would prefer not to use it. Reports received from Subdomina Kepra. Synopsis follows. Heavy resistance slash minimal gains slash mounting casualties confirm. Yes? No? Correct. There have been setbacks. Our troops have encountered a new Necron war form. Reaction equals delight. Pray, Tech Acquisitor, explain. Enemy war form provided designation destroyer. Anti grav technology confirmed. Exploratory request slash file accessed. Anti-gravitational technology is an area Stygies 8 Magos have requested as high priority study of provisional designation destroyer plus desirable plus necessary plus sacred duty. And you would be famed throughout Stygies 8 for exploiting this technology. Statement agreement. Request formulation follows. Commence deployment immediately. All right. What's the map look like? A concentration of Necron destroyers is playing merry hell with our Skatari units in the Tomb of Acropis. They are highly mobile and heavily armed weapons platforms. Taking them on is dangerous in the extreme. Plus, 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 reason to exerve them. Our troops possessing such technology, extrapolated to conclusion, greatly increases battlefield effectiveness. I was raised to see that as dangerous thinking, Magos. Put such petty aside for now, or piety aside for now, Subdomina, as the cohort ready, is the cohort ready to advance? They are. I have plotted a likely location for the destroyer units. They are somewhere within this complex. The fortune of Mars be with you. All right. Wow. So here's my thought process on this one. We go here, we go here, we go here, we go here, and then we hit these last two and then the boss and skip these two entirely. Although, we've gotten useful stuff from stuff like this before, so. I don't know. Let's hit everything. Why not? Alright. So, the glyphs here, we have Blackstone and we have negative health. <laughs> I guess we're going with Blackstone. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, the glyphs here, we have negative health. And this one, one that looks like a funky battle axe. Is positive health. Negative health and positive health. I'm gonna hold on to this one and remember that it's health because we could always come back if something weird happens along this path. Presence has been detected. That's perfectly fine. The lives of the logic saints, Psalm 61. Even in death, our duty is not complete. A mortally wounded Skatari lies on the floor of this chamber, his torso laid open by goss fire. He was evidently caught in a firefight and left behind when his unit fell back. It is likely the Skatari were attacked by Necron destroyers. The Skatari may have witnessed their tactics up close. Interrogate download or medical assistance medical assistance 
Awakening increased by one, and they get some intelligence. Though the trooper is badly hurt, quick and dedicated medical intervention by the cohort's tech priest stabilizes his vital signs. Though you can yield no intelligence for now, he will eventually fight again. The cohort has lost precious time in intervening, but provided with a rare opportunity, rare example of survival against the odds. All right, what is this glyph by chance? This is positive health and negative health. What is it with the health? I now have two bits of positive health if I need to go back for them, which we might. Extra Necrons, that's fine. Transmission origin equals Necron. Xenos language study opportunity. Request study. Hark not to the alien words, lest ye unknowingly repeat them. True, when Archimagos Veneratulus Vene Veneratus Halion wrote it, Magos. True today. This chamber is bathed in constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocol. Decode, delegate. Uh, I'm going to delegate it. The ship's cogitators react with hostility to the alien transmission. And the machine spirit of Cestus Metallican rapidly quarantines the affected machines. Dang it. I should have tried to do it locally. Maybe. That might have been just as bad. <laughs> All right. This area of the tomb of Acropus is covered in hieroglyphs interspersed with depictions of Necron constructs, most often engaged in war. Some of the images resemble the Necron destroyers with their distinctive anti-grav hulls. Um, I'm going to go for weaknesses. Eh, awakening increased. Every... Oh, event inscribed. Every inscribed battle scene suggests the destroyers are more heavily armed, solidly armored, and mobile than any of the other numerous Necron war forms. All right. All right. We got two more places to go to. Scavola, direct request. Bring it to me. End direct request. The cohort finds a sarcophagus containing a Necron destroyer that seems inert. It may have malfunctioned and failed to respond to the tomb's awakening protocol. We could trash it, we could take it, or we could tag it. Um, let's take it. <laughs> the cohort pries open the sarcophagus, but in response to their actions, the dormant Necron teleports away. It's a barrage of harmful radiation and deafening noise. All right. This is why we have the the troops more extra necrons because I keep choosing the wrong things mission relevant opportunity combat data on provisional designation destroyers acquire don't ignore this chamber is the site of a skirmish between a unit of Skatari and the necron destroyers a few corpses badly mauled by goss fire lie around hurriedly erected flak weave barricades for supplies Um, all right, we're going to do another one. Procure is even, peruse is odd. What is it with evens? Well, we get a noise reducer. Reveal all enemy statistics in an area. <laughs> but awakening increased by two. All right, let's go heal our one servitor. All right, then back we go. The nice thing is hitting each of the, like going back through them doesn't cost any awakening level. That increased by two. No wonder that has been going up so fast. Wow. All right, 
Intrigue. Most interesting. Not all forms are humanoid. Logging data. Centurion form. Gravity defying. The Xenos show they are more alien than we originally thought. Text of the Oiled Cog version 12 states, One can verge from the standard form, but one must always retain their humanity or be lost to the men of iron and their ways. I do not mean to diverge from the discussion, but what are these iron men? Unclear. This text was logged many millennia ago. There's no other reference to them in my cogitators. Keep focused, brothers. We have a new enemy afoot. We must ensure they do not surprise us with their new trickeries. Be alert and focus. All right, so we have to destroy this guy. I remember these guys. These guys are seriously annoying. Uh, we have a console. We have a console. All right, let's get you guys both up here. And let's get started. Kill or destroy targets. Yeah, I think we're going to go this way. All right. All right, I can't just switch between troops. We have no extra CP. So let's get you up going this way. I'm going to scan him. 18 health. Oof. I need you to get moving. I'm actually going to grab a CP from here and move you twice. Just because I want you far away from this guy. Now they reanimate in one turn. I don't remember how far he can fire. Oh, I can almost make it to him. That is actually a little bit terrifying. That's kind of funny. All right, what do we got? Oh, perfect. All right. Five damage is nice. Ah. I have no CP. <laughs> All right. So we got some scarabs and a new Necron warrior. Why can I not call down reinforcements? Oh, because I don't have any CP. Right. Let's scan this thing. Let's get you up here. Let's grab a CP. Let's kill it. Grr. All right, hang out there. Knock it down now. There's the extra one CP. Okay. Uh, let's grab that CP. You can shoot so far. That is ridiculous. Look at that. You can shoot all the way back here? Talk about being able to shoot across the map. All right, so the destroyer's next. I'm actually going to move you back over here so that we can grab that CP. All right, we get more scarabs and another warrior. This is just, just great. Can you seriously get around that way? I don't think you can. Alright, let's grab this cognition. I forgot that he goes later. Come back here. Execute this guy. So that I don't have to worry about him anymore. And come stand next to these. These guys. Okay. 
Well, ow. Okay, I need to heal you now. Which, you know, of course, means that I can't actually do anything. <laughs> I can now. Okay. Now we can start bringing in servitors. Let's get you in. Uh, get you to come up here. These guys will help us a little bit with CP. Grab that, grab that cognition point so that we can remove these scarabs. And come hide over here since you're actually fairly hurt. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Oh, there was a scarab left? Man. All right, so he's out. Which is fine. Let's use your servo skull to grab a CP over here. Can you see this guy? No, but you would be able to see him from here. Come on. Dang. Oh no, that was perfect. That was perfect. I love how we're just avoiding the destroyer. <laughs> like as much as we can. All right, I am gonna bring in another servitor. I'm not sure that I like the fact that he gets to go twice per round. But it is what it is. Oh, thank you for the full four. Okay, stay there. That acid, how long does that acid last? And you just got reinforced. Of course you did. And I can't actually reach this guy to prevent him from getting up. So we're going to come back here. We're going to attack you for two damage and stay there. Okay, he has three health. Oh, that hurts. That actually hurt a lot. And I don't have... <laughs> you know this whole this whole CP gain thing it, it just doesn't work that particular one that they attack first in battle doesn't currently matter anymore alright I am not dropping in another servitor we need the CP Badly. All right. How are you doing in terms of health? Eight health. I could go here. That would get rid of this, force him to take an opportunity attack. We would probably get attacked by that guy. So let's do it. Let's move up. We can bash you. I was completely taken out, right? Yes, I could move to that space. All right. Now you wait. Oh, you go first. Three damage. Okay, I'll take it. And those scarabs are gone as well. Oh, thank you. 
this CP. Okay. Oh, I don't have the extra CP to do it. Huh! Was that another crit? That was another crit. So now it's just us and this guy. Which is perfect. Alright, I'm going to end your turn. Wait, what? How can you fire through that? How does that even work? And Jeremiah's dead. Dead, dead. Like, gone, dead. But, like, what? How can you shoot through a solid structure that I can't shoot through? Do you have, like, a teleportation beam or something? Like, how does that even work? Oh, and of course. <laughs> Ouch. I have to drop a reinforcement. And I've got to drop it right in front of him, too. gonna lose this mission and both of these guys are gonna be dead what is that gonna do this is mission three this is our third episode all right move up i know exactly what i'm gonna have to do give me the litany of life i was hoping to not use these but give me the extra physical damage Give me more health so that I can take the next two attacks in a row. Or maybe not. And attack. Eight damage. Not terrible. But horrible all the same. Get going. All the way around. All right. And we're probably going to die because there's no reinforcement round and he immediately gets to go again. And there's death. <laughs> so what happens now? Now that I have one little tiny servitor left. Oh, man. Mission failed. The overwhelming strength of the Necrons in the Tomb of Acrosis proves too much for the cohort. The very destroyers they are here to study lend their firepower to the Necron defense. Yep. Necron combat prowess equals confirmed. So was the Valivar troops in conducting such a mission? I, I return regret that they should fight and die for naught. Not equals false. Valuable data, va valuable battlefield data acquired. Aphorism retrieval. In defeat, there is opportunity. As much as I scour my emotional cores, I cannot find such solace among the deaths of those under my command, Scavola. By the way, we have no tech priests left. None whatsoever. <laughs> Your dead tech priests will not return to the ship after a mission. If there are no tech priests remaining, it's game over. Game over. <laughs>
All right. Well, <laughs> I guess next time we're going to be starting a new game. <laughs> oh, episode three. That is crazy. All right. Well, I am going to end today's episode off here. I hope you folks enjoyed it. I've never seen the, the defeat screen, so that was that was new. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.